We're in Vancouver, British Columbia for this week's Week 6 Simulation Football League matchup live on Rare Drop Sports between the Carolina Skyhawks and the Vancouver Legion here at Kings Coast Stadium. Uh, they have two special teams players, Whistle Jones and Malone Brown, uh, the kicker and punter respectively. Five-step drop from Matt South, and that is nearly picked off. And it is picked off. Number 22 on the return for the Vancouver Legion. Major key gets the first turnover of the game. In the shotgun, Christian Brown throws upfield, and that is a first down. Let's go through that uh, Vancouver offense now. Christian Brown uh, at the shotgun there. Uh, two of Vancouver's uh, defeats this season uh, by a single field goal. Mm. And that was a nice pickup of a first down there by Robert Redford. Is second and six for the Vancouver Legion. They come out in a uh, eye formation mm. again. That's Robert Redford. Mm. He's got a lot of space and he nearly gets it all the way to the house. But as it stands, number 43 with a touchdown saving tackle. Eye formation again. And that's going to be handed up through the middle. And that's Robert Redford again. And he. The seas parted for Robert Redford, and he makes the touchdown. It is six points on the board for the Vancouver Legion to start this game off with uh, first and ten on the cards here. And uh, that is going to be a five-step drop for Matt South. Looking, throws, this picked, and he's going to the house. Nobody's going to stop him except maybe number 86, who rushes all the way back and cleans up usually see a runner or a screen here and it is going to be the run and Robert Redford has a lot of space and he's oh. going to be going all the way up oh. in the red zone of the Carolina Skyhawks and the defensive backfield Tristan Hatley Skippy Curtis Davidson Joseph oh. Monte Wyatt and Kane Vasquez as well as Lincoln Kingsley but none of them could stop that as Brett Killian gets the reception and the touchdown yeah standout for the Vancouver Legion today Let's play action again for the Carolina Skyhawks, but it took a little bit of time to develop a nice throw and catch. Third and one, and uh, might see that, them come out in that heavy set again here, Eddie. The Carolina Skyhawks now going to come out in power eye set. And there uh, could be another screen. Now they're going to run it, and that is going to be a lot of space oh, wow. for Sudo Nakai. That is all the way up into the Vancouver red zone, onto the Vancouver 19-yard line, and Sudo Nakai trying to emulate Robert Redford in the early yeah. stages of this game, Eddie. I know he took some time off and retired, and he just showed his fresh legs right there, trying to figure out why he's not getting involved more because he got from zero to 100 real quick there, Liam. Well, if anybody, a two-time All-Star is who you want to go to, and Matt South is in gun straight here. He's going to throw touchdown. it. He's going to catch it. And that is a touchdown for the Carolina Skyhawks. Number 86, Vince DeSantis. Throw it to the tight end indeed, and that brings Carolina back to within a single score. And somewhere, uh, Mike Daggs is pleased, and whenever in doubt, throw it to the tight end because he's wide open, even when he isn't open. And they're going to come out and gun straight, so it's going to be an aggressive pass-first formation here for the Vancouver Legion. And uh, will they throw it to the tight end? No, they're going to throw it to the oh. wide receiver, and he's got him. Number 84 is going into the end zone, and it is a touchdown for the Vancouver Legion. And number 84, Chris Curtis, absolutely mosses the defensive back there for the Carolina Skyhawks. Chris Curtis, aggressive indeed, came into this game with just over 10,000 yards all-time receiving and 66 touchdowns. That one makes 67, as I told you. Andy doesn't uh, believe in selling for field goals. He's always trying to put up seven. Uh, here and there, he was out for quite a while and then came back. And uh, he's making a big impact here today, trying to make amends for those early interceptions. And he's going to come out and gun straight here, Carolina, with uh, four wide receivers in the tight end. And that is all the way up for a first down again. Carolina moving this ball, Eddie. Well, you're looking at the clock here as well because uh, we're ticking down to the two-minute warning. And they're going to come out in bunch to see this out. We'll probably see a throw here. And we do. And that was a, nearly a dangerous throw there. Cameraman a bit wobbly there. Maybe sort of backup QB getting ready to try and fake it or something like that. You never know. <laughs> never know what happens in the SFL. Uh, surprises every day. But uh, Carolina going to clock it a bit here. No, they will just uh, take the field goal. And that's the wise move there as Carolina bring it to 10 to 21 
I've tried Talk to play in my Sims and Ashley Jackson does not like it. <laughs> Talk about efficient there, 152 QBR, but that is that is going down right there because that is a pick by the Carolina Skyhawks. The number 59, Clint Hendershot, was hovering. Uh, that was statisticians' curse rather than commentators' curse because uh, <laughs> I was just putting what they gave me uh, into the minds of our viewers, I'm afraid, Christian as uh, that is a pick for uh, Clint Hendershot, uh, a long-term veteran of this league, Eddie. Three wide receivers. Big third down for both these teams. Five-step drop. Throw. Oh, that's a catch. That is a lot of yards right into Vancouver's uh, red zone. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. Harish Passai, back in the day, used to be one of the better route runners, if not the best in the entire SFL. He has since then taken a pay cut. He can still get the job done. Watch the out route here as uh, Carolina, well, watch the slant because uh, that is an excellent reception and a touchdown for the Carolina Skyhawks. Mm. Christian Brown's going to go for the five-step drop. That's a throw and that's mm. a catch. That has a lot of yardage and they made up all that yardage from the pump right back. Indeed, uh, it has been very balanced today, it seems like, as that is another pass to the out route. And that is a nice pickup of... Uh, the, the Skyhawks giving a little extra room to number 84, Chris Curtis. Going to call it probably around uh, 42. Spot's good. That is up. And that is 41, they will say. It also puts some confidence back into Suna Kaz. Oh, and he's oh. showed his confidence there as he does pick up the first down. No problem with the spot there from R62 and the crew. So let's see what they can do. Maybe they'll go with the screen instead this time. No, they are going to run it, and that's great blocking. And Sudo Nakai has got space, and he has got all the way to the first down. So single back set, one tight end and three wide receivers. Can turn up to a 14-7 lead in oh, that game. Out. Big throw and a big catch for the Carolina Skyhawks. Harish Prasad has been on it today. And, this is uh, only his third field goal attempt of the season thus far. Second Indeed. In the lead. And he's going to put it up and through. So uh, certainly doesn't have trouble making him, even if his uh, skills have not been called upon. Let's see if Vancouver can hold up again. It's a throw and it's a catch. And, Va and Vancouver have not stopped the Carolina Skyhawks. And Matt South's got to keep going. Another throw and another catch. And the Carolina Skyhawks are all the way up to their 46-yard line. The safety is way back, the strong safety. Can't even Indeed see he is. That's a throw and a catch again. I can see that catch coming from a mile off. He was completely clear. Uh, the Carolina Skyhawks with one last chance to make a play and to win this game. And they're going to go into going the Hail Mary. Hail Mary. That's not good. This close to the end zone. Matt South with one last chance to try and win it. They're going to send the kitchen sink at it here, Vancouver. And so is Matt South. He throws it into the end zone. Too far. It is up. And it's too far. And Vancouver are going to win this game. It was a close one. Another single possession game for the Vancouver Legion. But this time they come out on top. Vancouver came into this series winning all four of their previous matchups. But three of them were decided by six points or less. And sure enough, look at this final score. 24 to 20 is going to be after this kneel down. Vancouver with that yet another single uh, score win. 